That's it. Change the wigs to the black ones and let's start. Adjust the light. Invite the audience. By and large, imagine I park in front of the community center. There's a stall with donuts, and so uh -huh. I buy these donuts. And I'm standing there, finishing the last one, and you who's saw there? You? Edward. I nearly jumped out of my skin. Imagine, he takes this donut, throws it onto the asphalt, and starts yelling at me. Who am I going to take to Paris? A herd of cows? What'd you do? What did I do? I stood there and sobbed like Come a fool. Come on, don't take it to heart. You've always known that Edward is a rare, sad boar. I didn't cry because of Edward. I cried because of the donut. Want some? No, thanks. So, my birdies, have you all changed the wigs yet? Well done, good job. Look, we have a full house tonight. All fashion magazines have sent their photographers, so girls work well, you got it? So, Goloba, what is this? These are dried apricots. Are you crazy or what? Look, you don't know what to pick. Mm -mm. What's wrong with Elena the Beautiful? That was embarrassing. I hope this is not what I think it is. Damn, that's why she was crying over the stupid donut. Do tell. Well, her man dumped her, Davidov. I see. Well, you know how it is. Everything was fine. Well. And then he disappeared in a minute, but now it's clear. I'll handle it. OK, girls, go to the catwalk. Let's do this. <gasps> Edward, I'm really sorry. I'm fine now. I'm ready now. Elena, are you pregnant? Oh, no, damn. Not this, too. I'm really sorry it happened. I'll give birth and recover very soon. Where are you going to return after recovery? In what shape will you come back? Have you thought about that? I read that the recovery can be very fast Please and... Please listen up, Elena. People in France are very interested in you. You can become the face of one very large company out there. The contract is for 100,000 euros minimum. Elena, you and I don't want to miss this chance. You have one week to abort it and for recovery. If you don't do this, Elena, I will ruin your entire modeling career. Now go to the catwalk. Let's go to work. Get to work, my dear. Let's get out there. Go on. Go on. Elena the Beautiful. Sweetest princess. <laughs> Oya, why are you running around the apartment in your boots? I just cleaned the floor. And we're gonna be late. Did you have breakfast? I made oatmeal porridge, added a banana, but she only smeared it all over her plate. I didn't smear it. I just ate a little bit, okay? Mm. Don't worry, Kostya. I'm gonna eat something in kindergarten. Like this? Well, all right, okay. Behave yourself, dear. You got it? I always behave well. <laughs> Bye, my princess. See you. Oh, oh, look, it's mom. Wave goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Kostya, can I ask you a serious question? But be honest. <laughs> sure. Why is my mom's and my surname the Sokolovs and you are Denisov? Well, it's very simple. Mom didn't want to take my surname when we got married, darling. Why didn't she want to, though? Well, you should ask mom that, dear. Well, actually, what's the difference who has what surname? The main thing is that we're friends. We're a family. Yes. <laughs> Kostya, can you please make me an airplane? <laughs> I can. Ah, <laughs> let's go flying. <laughs> ah. Well... And you know, today in the kindergarten, they told me about the money for the leaving party again. Everyone's sort of already paid. I don't have money. No money, huh? Well, we also have maintenance fee debts. Kostya, how come we never have any money? 
We don't go out anywhere. We live modestly. We don't spend on anything. We paid the rent for your salon for a year ahead and uh, paid to get your car repaired too. It's just that these debts drive me mad. Yeah, me too. By the way, we didn't have to repair the car, you know. Well, don't say that. I don't want to get into a car accident. No way. Kostya? Mm -hmm. Please solve it somehow, will you, dear? You're the man of our house here. Thank you. I'll solve it. I'm gonna get a large order. There's a bank. They need a website? Mm -hmm. You know, I should call them today. Maybe they'll want to make a deal with me. <laughs> um, I have to go. I have a client Already? really soon. You're the best. Bye-bye. Maybe we could curl the eyelashes at the end? Jana, well, that is easy, but it'll be over the top. Okay, then. Thank you, Elena. All the best. Rita, huh? get the payment. Okay, ma'am. Hello, lady. I need some special makeup right this minute. My close friend is throwing a party. I must be really irresistible. Can you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Alina! <laughs> well, why are you standing like that? Give me a darn hug, girl. <laughs> Look, I was told that you had settled in Paris somewhere. Oh, Elena, I had it all. Paris, Rome, a husband, two husbands. Both bastards, all in all, I'm looking for a third one. Yeah, out here? Well, why not? These foreigners, I'm fed up with them. Our Russian men are far more easier to train, know what I mean? <laughs> Look, um, why don't you sit down? You want some tea? Anything stronger? Hmm. All right. Look, Elena, tell me, how's everything going? When Edward told me that you were here, I was stunned. There was no way. Look, no offense. But I couldn't even imagine you in this environment, sweetie. I mean, look at you. You're Elena Sokolova. Elena the beautiful, the star of the catwalk. Oh, Elena, how much we were jealous of you. I like where I am in my life right now. <laughs> well, I told you no offense. Well, you know perfectly well what my heart thinks. My tongue just speaks. Bright side, I'll never stab you in the back. <laughs> Let's go to a cafe. At first, it wasn't easy, of course. I had neither money nor work. I moved to a shared apartment. All my admirers disappeared. Well, almost all of them. One stayed by. Mm, and he is your husband now? Yes. He didn't get scared. I proposed to me one day. Well, of course, I didn't say yes straight away. At first, I got used to him. Then I just gave up. Well, how do you live now? Uh, we live kind of well. He loves me very much and, and treats Olya mm -hmm. like his own daughter, and that's, you know, real important. <gasps> This jerk of yours, well, is he even aware that he has a daughter? He left me as soon as I got pregnant. I haven't seen him since then, so he doesn't know. Oh my god. We both haven't had life full of roses. I don't even want to tell you about my what life. What does that mean? Oh, look, it was disgusting. The Frenchman appeared to what? be a sadist, and then this, this Italian <laughs> is a vegetarian. Just a catastrophe. <laughs> he didn't let me eat meat. Can you imagine that? Oh, let's not talk about sad things, huh? Okay. Let's go to a party today. Have some fun like old times. Where at? Remember Yulia Salzanova? Ah, such an elegant. Yes, 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 yes. So, she got a job as a secretary with some businessman. His name's Andre. Well, he's, he's quite successful. By the way, he's single right now, and I met him. Mm -hmm. No, not uh-uh yet. We just talk, that's all. <laughs> so he has a party today to celebrate a new contract. Let's just go, huh? Alina, I understand why you need this right now, but I'm not playing these games anymore. Come on now, we'll just have some fun, that's all. Alina? Mm-hmm. Of course I remember Alina. She was a glamorous lady. Why was? She is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, she's still not as pretty as you are, my dear. Our mother is the most beautiful <laughs> in the whole world. Thank you, my honey. How is Alina? She kind of left the country. She's back. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Why didn't you invite her here? I don't think that she'll be interested in visiting us. She invited me to go to a party with her today, actually. What kind of party? Some entrepreneur has a party for Beaumont, but I refused, of course, dear. Well, just go. You mean... You shouldn't have refused, Elena. I stay home all the time, but that doesn't mean you have to stay at home here, bored with me. Really? I see that you are bored. Go, have some fun. Our mother is like Cinderella tonight. She's been working and working, and now she's going to the bar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you see. Are you letting me go then, dear? Yes, we insist. Do we, Olya? Mm-hmm. Go and have some fun.
Somehow, I don't like all this presentiment of something bad. Girl, you've just become unsociable. It's time you were taken out to socialize. Hello. for a party thrown for friends, correct? Mm. Well, it's the way things are done now. There's a lot of interesting people here. Well, hello, good evening, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. By the way, the Bank of Avalov is somewhere here. <laughs> Unfortunately, a happily married man. <laughs> Turn back right now. Turn back right now. Do you see the man wearing a purple tie back there? Mm-hmm. He's an industrialist, mm. Bobra. <gasps> By the way, he's getting a divorce from his wife. Let's go. Oh, Alina, hello. <laughs> Yulia. Lord, who do we have here? Elena the Beautiful. Yulia. Oh, don't call her that, dear. She Why forgot not? the nickname long ago. Ah, I see. Elena, I'm sorry. I'm really glad to see you here tonight. I'm glad to see you too. You look great, really. Well, thank you. Thank you, dear. It's the only way you can survive. I work as a secretary. I'm almost 30. I mean, girls at our age, we should look great, right? Oh, 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 oh. In my opinion, I think someone's sleeping with her boss. Don't worry about that. I'm just an attractive face of the firm, and the boss is simply just... Is everything all right? Ah, uh, and here he is, by the way. <laughs> Good evening, ladies. Well, we've already been introduced with Alina, therefore Yulia. Introduce me to our guest. Oh, Andre, this lovely girl is Elena. Elena, this is Andre. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Do you like the party? Yes, it's great. You have a beautiful house. Well, thank you. I have a feeling that we've already met somewhere, but I can't remember exactly <laughs> from where, though. <laughs> You're mistaken. I'm a stay-at-home person. I rarely attend any social events like this. Well, maybe so. So we were lucky then. Elena, if you need anything, please let me know. Don't worry, everything is very informal here. Thank you, sir. I'll leave you for a while then. Mm-hmm. I'm getting jealous of you. <laughs> uh, look, why am I the only person drinking? Let's drink together. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Come on. And then the fairy touched Cinderella's dress with her beautiful magic wand, and instantly it turned into an amazing and stunning outfit, embroidered with precious and rare stones. Go, dear, go to the ball. You more than deserve it. It's a fairy tale about our mom. Kostya, do you think mom will be chosen to be the queen of the ball tonight? Well, it's still not a ball. But if it had been a ball, they'd definitely have chosen her. And they would have chosen you to be the king. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of fantasizing. Lie down, dear. But remember, said the fairy, even if you're one minute past your curfew, then your dress will turn into old rags and the carriage into a pumpkin. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to toast to the owner of this house over here, our wonderful rat boss, my good old friend Andre, dear Andre. Dear Andre, you survived a black streak in your life and brought our company to the proper level. May good fortune always be with you. What black streak is he speaking of? Give me, hmm? We'll get some well, money in our pockets. What's the difference? He survived it. <laughs> yes, you will. I Ooh. promise. <laughs> Elena, darling. Oh, they. Hello, darling. How are you, my dear? Fine. I see you have empty glasses. Mm. Let's have a drink. I heard your name's Elena. Yes. <laughs> I'm even a little shy around you. Why shy? Why shy? Because it should be illegal to be so beautiful. <laughs> Got it, huh? <laughs> Do you always start calling people by their first names so easily? I don't remember when we agreed to be on first name terms. Why don't we grab a drink? I really think it's enough for you. <laughs> Elena, your girlfriend is really hot. Mm -hmm. Who's that damn clown? Well, why clown, though? By the way, he's a very serious man, girlfriend. He's Andre's financial director. And by the way, he's single. You could have been more polite, don't you think? 
And you think I should have kissed him, I assume. Oh, why not? You could have kissed him as a joke. Nothing bad would have happened. All right, that's it. Where's the... Where's the bathroom around here? <laughs> Hello? How's it going there? Oya's being stubborn and doesn't want to sleep. Have you read the fairy tale? We've read five of them. <laughs> She's waiting on you. Well, then tell her that I'll never go anywhere if she doesn't fall asleep. <laughs> this is blackmail. I'll try a different thing, though. You're the best, dear. You too, love. Miss you. <laughs> oh. Hey there. Look, you've roused my curiosity. I don't care whether you want to be on the first name term or not. Let's talk real quick. Well, I'm listening. <laughs> I'm not here, though. Come here. Over here works. Uh, oh, like, I don't know why you have such a high opinion of yourself. I'm not looking for adventures. Come on, how so? Stop, on, stop it. Don't touch on, me. Stop, stop it. You, stop. <laughs> Just, stop. Ah! No. Oh. Oh. Well, what's going on here? Oh, well. We're talking. <laughs> Buddy, you don't look well. Go refresh yourself, will you? No, it's not. Uh, Andre, I'm Oleg, fine. go right now. Fine. Put some cold water on your face, okay? Go outside, take a walk around the house, get some fresh air. Oleg, go now, Oleg, to the fresh air. Go on. Well, yeah, I got it. You're the boss here. Go on, go on. All right. I'll go. I'll go. I'll get some fresh air. <laughs> Elena, forgive him. For God's sake, he's a really good guy. He's just drank a little too much. I promise you, tomorrow I'll talk to him seriously. It's all right. Thank you for helping. Elena, you, after all, hit him quite hard, I see. I didn't expect it myself. You know, I've remembered where I know you from. Ten years ago, on the cover of a magazine. <laughs> what a great memory. Yes, and I even thought then such a beautiful girl. I really wanted to get to know you. Why didn't you back then? Well, I was as poor as a church mouse, and a cover girl was <laughs> a different world, different dimension. <laughs> That's sweet. You know, one guy wasn't rich either, but he didn't hesitate to propose. And now he is my husband. Hmm. I've made a fool of myself. <laughs> uh, all right, Andre. I really have to go now. My daughter can't sleep without me, waiting for her mommy after the ball. It's a pity you can't stay. But I understand. Let me offer you my car to take you home, then. <laughs> I knew you'd be fine without me. I saw the fancy car you came well, in. Well, the host gave everyone a car from his fleet to take guests well, home. Not a bad fleet. Well, how was the party tonight? Oh, well, how was the party? Some had fun, but not me. All in all, you shouldn't have sent me there. But why not? Yes, that's not my life anymore. Uh...
Good morning, Elena. Am I interrupting? It's quite unexpected. Good morning, sir. Uh, you see, I feel so... I feel so terrible after what happened yesterday, and Oleg, by the way, too. He regrets what he did. He really wanted to apologize. He wanted to come, but I didn't let him. I told him that you would hit him again. I told him I'd tell you everything, so here I am, and... You shouldn't have gone so far. Since it was so easy to get my address, you could have just as easily gotten my phone number from someone, too. Actually, I... I really wanted to see you in person, though. Uh, you've seen me. So what's next? <laughs> well, I don't know yet. Well, I've been thinking of you the whole time since you left. You'll get over it. Your apology was accepted. Elena, tell me, will it be too bold of me to ask you to have dinner with me one of these days? Uh, Andre, how can I put it out there? Uh, I'm not that girl from the cover anymore. Uh, uh, why does that matter to me? Andre, can I tell you directly as it is? The point is that I got used to spending evenings with my husband and daughter and having dinner at home. Why do we need this? You don't know, do you? I don't know either. So you shouldn't really. I... I have a client in a couple of minutes and I haven't finished cleaning up yet. I... I get the message. I'm already leaving. Uh, let me at least leave you my business card. If you need anything, call me anytime. Thanks for everything, Elena. Goodbye now. See you around. So he came and invited you to a restaurant? Well, yes. That's crazy. And you don't like him at all, do you? Well, why? He's an attractive man, but... <laughs> well, you're right about him. He's bad news. He's a womanizer. He hits on every woman. I'm being honest. And why do you think he's still single? Hmm? Well, he has a flock of young, foolish girls swarming around him all day. Really? He seemed quite modest to me. Really? Oh, look, well, if you don't believe me, we'll ask Yulia. She knows him best. Well, I don't care at all. Why should I learn about it, though? Do you mean you don't care at all? That's not the point. Mm. No, Elena, of course you're right. You're hard as a rock. A role model wife. That's how we should behave. Hey, what happened to you tonight, honey? What's that mean? I don't know. You were so passionate. You did not like it? <laughs> of course I did. I really liked it. Well, it's just been a while. And suddenly, such an explosion. Mm. I just missed it. Mm. Let's sleep now. Sokolova? That's me. This is for you. Where should I put it? Uh, you can put it here. And could you tell me who sent it? Uh, sorry, I don't know. I was told to deliver it, and I did. Goodbye now. Uh, Thank goodbye. you so much. Elena, what magnificent Is it flowers. your birthday? Uh, no. There's no special occasion. Maybe there's a note in the bouquet, perhaps? There's no note here. You must have a secret admirer, I think. How romantic, boss. I think I know who it's from. Good afternoon, Elena. Ah, uh, good afternoon, Andre. I knew that you would be waiting for me. Huh? You know, the genre goes, after a bouquet being delivered, the hero appears. Well, wait, you didn't like the flowers, really? Andre, 
Stop doing nonsense like that. This isn't nonsense. I wanted to make something pleasant for you, that's Don't all. Don't you know that it's inappropriate to behave like this with a married woman? What if my husband comes here now? How can I explain this to him? You know, I really somehow didn't think about that, though. Really? And what did you think about? You thought that I'd throw myself into your arms like that? Well, no. Why? <laughs> I didn't have any specific thoughts. Just wanted to make you happy, I guess. Well, yeah, I agree. It turned out quite stupid with the flowers, but... Nevertheless, Elena, if you're not... Well, if you're not angry with me, could I buy you a cup of coffee, then? And now I'm really very angry. Do you think I don't see it? I know. I was told all about all your love affairs. It's not gonna work with me, though. Well, what were you told about me exactly? Uh, that you can't keep your eyes off of every woman. Uh... And you should spit in the face of the person who told you this about me. Actually, three years ago, my wife died. And since then, I haven't had a woman in my life. It's just that when I met you, I felt something, but probably you're right. I'm behaving like a stupid boy. I'm so sorry, Elena. I'll never bother you again, then. How did the pink cow get over there? Well, in the fields, there are always cows. <laughs> That's right, Olia. On the Champs Elysees, you can see even more weird things. I'll tell you a story. I then returned to Paris for the second time. Oh, Elena, hi. I'm really sorry. I've come over with no invite. Oh, hello. Honey, I didn't hear you come in. <laughs> Mom, imagine Auntie we Elena ate yucky, slimy frogs in Paris. Uh -huh. The truth is, I was dying to see how you live, and by the way, Kostya is just a wonderful husband, and he doesn't mind us going to the nightclub. However, he doubts that you'll want to. That's right, Kostya. Could you play with Olya in the room? We need to talk for a quick second. I don't want to go to the room. I want to listen to Auntie Alina talking about oh, yeah. Paris. Let's go. Let's not keep Mom from talking to her friends. We'll finish the princess's castle and then show it to Auntie Alina. I'll definitely look at it afterwards. <sighs> you look like you're not glad to see me, not one bit. Alina, why did you tell me that nonsense about Andre? Uh, I'm confused. Well, you said he wouldn't marry because he's a womanizer. When in fact, his wife is dead. Oh, really? Well, I didn't even know anything about a dead wife. Mm. Listen, it's just some kind of misinformation. And he, what, came to you again? Yeah, he did. Yeah, really. Well, what does it change? You have a husband, a daughter? Ah, uh, it changes nothing. It just, it wasn't very nice though. Yeah, not nice. Oh, enough. Let's go to the club, huh? No, thanks. Alina, I'm sorry, you must go. I meant no offense. I just, I, I had a lot of customers today, I'm tired. Mm-hmm. Can, can you push harder by my neck? Mm-hmm. No, not, not here, at the base of the neck. Mm. Kostya, what are you doing? What's wrong with you, Elena? Are you mad about something, or... You're irritated. You drove your friend away. Everything is fine. Please, give me some space, okay? You wanted to give me a massage, right? Well, I'm sorry, but uh, I have to get up early tomorrow. I have a lot of work. Good night, then.
Look, the flowers have withered. Let me, uh... Don't. Don't touch them, please. Well, if you say. <laughs> Andre, good morning. It's me, Elena. I'm... Sorry, I told you stupid things last time I saw you. Don't be angry. Please, I just wanted to say that if your offer to still have dinner is on, then I accept. Elena, I'm very glad you called me with that news. I promise everything will be very decent. Tonight still sounds good. Okay, I'll call you then. Yulia! Yes, Andre, all okay? Yulia, book a table for two at the restaurant Dream for tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And tell Oleg that I'm waiting for him with a quarter report. Right away. Hello, my dear friend. Guess what? You won't believe it, but the boss is taking out Elena the Beautiful. Oh. Hello. Hello, dear. Why are you not at the meeting? Uh, it's been postponed. They haven't made up their mind uh, yet. What are you doing? Where are you going? Well, Elena invited me to go to the cinema. Mm, to watch what? Some kind of chick flick. Well, you're gonna come back late? No, I'm not. I'll put Olya to bed, too. Oh, okay. Hey, look, why do you need to wear a dress? It's dark there, at the cinema. Uh, Alina will most probably want to go to the restaurant after the movie. Ah. Uh. Uh-huh. I have a feeling as if we'd known each other for a very long time, but I don't know anything about you. What can I tell you then? Well, tell me how you became a model. Oh, this isn't an interesting story at all. I just went to the city when I was young. Went to a casting agency. I worked a lot. I worked a lot and slept a little. Then the agency got international acknowledgement. And this is where my career ended, and for good. Why so? Uh, this is why. Oh. <laughs> is this your daughter? She's my life. Of course, I had to give up a lot, but I don't regret anything. You know what? She really looks like you. <laughs> I'm sure that she isn't only beautiful, but also very smart. I hope we'll get to know each other someday, too. It's not a good idea. Prince, are you coming to the ball in my castle tonight? Well, of course. And who will be there tonight? All my friends and girlfriends. What? I've already cooked a festive treat for them as well. Mm -hmm. What is it? Pizza. Ice cream and some cold strawberry drinks. That's wonderful. It sounds delicious, too. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hello? Who's this? Are there any problems? Well, Olya, I need to go out. Uh, I'm going to call Auntie Katya and she'll sit with you. I don't want to stay with her. She'll turn on her news on the TV all night again. Olya, you have to stay with her. This is very important. Here you go. It's not for long. Okay, okay. sweetie? <sighs> Katya and I got married eight years ago. Well, we lived, as they say, in perfect harmony. But we weren't lucky to have children. Well, probably because I had problems with business then. And, well, I was disappointed. I decided to give up everything but my wife dissuaded me. Can you imagine that? My lucky streak has just started. We just, well, we just thought that we would live comfortably, but Katya was diagnosed with cancer. And just like that, she passed away. We even tried chemotherapy, and I took her abroad three times in one year, but everything was in vain. She died three years ago. I'm so sorry. Elena. 
I understand why I'm attracted to you. You are very much like Katya. No, not externally. You see, I see... I see inner strength in you. Well, some strong moral values. You don't know me at all. No, I don't know you, but I feel it. <gasps> Give me your hand real quick. I, I can read the lines a little, so... Give me your hand. The person has seven, seven lines. Good evening. Which talk about the soul. We have a dress code at the restaurant. Please take off your overcoat. That is Kostya, my husband. I'm not going to stay long. Kostya. So this is how you watch movies with your friend? What are you doing over here? Where's Olya? Olya's at home with our neighbor. Some woman called me and said that you were in danger, that I needed to go to the restaurant dream right away. And then I see that you're here and you're fine. Kostya. Kostya, let's sit down, please. Kostya. I'll explain everything Why to should you. I sit down with you, huh? Kostya, please, don't make scenes. Come on, please, just sit down. Andre, he's just an old friend. A friend? I didn't expect that from you. Get your things, and we'll talk at home. Maybe you will hear me out. What? Andre, don't. I'll deal with it. Kostya, go. let's go home now. I'll call a taxi. Olya fell asleep. Kostya, I understand what it looks like, but... There was nothing between us. We aren't even... We aren't even on first name terms. Who is he? Andre, he... He's a good person who feels really bad right now. So, I agreed to have dinner with him. Just dinner. Do you understand? That's all. Just dinner. You lied to me, though. I didn't know how to explain it to you. It, it's the only thing I can be blamed for. So, he's just... He's just... A really good person, I assume? Yes, I promise there was absolutely nothing between us. We, we just had dinner and that's all, yes. Then why was he holding your hand? Ah! <gasps> I'm sorry. 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 I made a mistake. Well, forgive me, please. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I don't... I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I... I... I don't remember myself. I'm drunk. I'm dr I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just forgive me, please. Forgive me. I'm, I'll fix it. Go Elena. Away. I can't... If you don't forgive me, I, I don't know what I'll do. Do whatever you want. Just leave me alone. friend and why here and not in a cafe don't feel like going to a cafe oh and what's with the bad mood something happened here yes I spent an evening with Andre mmm how did it go tell me girl as if you don't know how it went what's that you are the one that called up Kostya and told him to come to the restaurant and did Kostya catch you <gasps> And so you think it's me? No, girlfriend. If you wanted to offend me, you just succeeded. Well, I didn't even know that you and Andre were meeting. And if I had known, I would have never told anyone. Come on. You have plans for Andre, don't you? Oh, what plans are those? No, well, of course he's a handsome man. But not my type at all. Oh, that's all. Uh, maybe it's Yulia. She has always liked him. I didn't want to see you here to investigate you. But that I don't want you to call me or to come to my place ever again. Because with your appearance, my life is going to pieces.
Good morning, Elena. My God, will this nightmare ever stop? Elena, I'm sorry I didn't call. I was afraid to call you after what happened yesterday's crazy event. Are you all right now, dear? Yes, I explained everything to Kostya. He understood. You have a very good husband. He's very smart. I don't even know how I would have behaved yesterday if I'd been him. Andre, listen I... to me. Let me tell you this after everything, Elena. Listen, I wanted to say thank you for yesterday evening. To tell you the truth, I haven't felt so good and easy. It's been a while since I felt that, you know? I feel that you're my soulmate, but you're a married woman, and therefore I won't bother you. You wanted to hear this from me, didn't you? Yes. What did you have for dinner? Did you eat? Buckwheat and a wiener. I ate the wiener, but I don't like buckwheat at no, all. No, but you can't do that. You have to eat everything or you won't grow. All right. Kostya? You argued with my mom, didn't you? Why do you think so? Well, I can see it. You don't talk to her, she doesn't even look at you. Did you offend mom somehow? No, how can you say so, Olya? Sit down. It's just that when people live together for a long time, they sometimes have a crisis. Crisis is when they argue? No. A crisis is when people get tired of each other. Our mom got tired. Then I know what to do now. What's that? Our mother should go on a romantic vacation then. Good girl. You know, I've been thinking about it too today. And I prepared a surprise for your mom. Elena, you know, today I got the money for the website and uh, I paid for the kindergarten and maintenance fee debt, so now we don't have any debt. Uh -huh. That's great. And one more thing. I don't know how you'll react, but... But, uh... Here you go. Is this a damn trip to Thailand? Look, I was lucky. I got a last minute tour. I think that you need to catch your breath. Well, a change of pace. Well, you haven't been anywhere for a long time. You're tired. Maybe that's why we have problems. This is for one person. Look, I have a lot of work. I have a lot of orders and Olya. Well, it's not a vacation with a child. You'll be worried all the time. She needs constant watching. Yes. And mom, don't worry. We're gonna be fine. It's only for 10 quick days. <laughs> You've ganged up on me too, huh? Well, we just talked and came to the conclusion that it would be right. Yeah. You know, since you insist so much, I'll, I'll take it and go alone. I'm asking you right now to find this bastard. Yes, go to the end of the earth to get him. Why should I care? No, listen, he's definitely not going to see you today. What's going on here? Do you remember Oleg? He's our CFO. He disappeared. However, he took all the money from the company's accounts. Hmm. Well, in principle, it's not surprising. I always hated him. And I just want to know where my money is. If you understand, then get it. Get to work now. Andre, I'm aware of what's going on. Listen, I have a friend in the prosecutor's office. I have a whole bunch of friends. What's the use right now? Why are you being so rude? I'm actually trying to help you out somehow. You've already helped. Just stay out of my business for now. Elena, maybe she can come with us. Well, she can miss this rehearsal, can't she? Stop it. We've already discussed this, Kostya. Honey, have breakfast and go to kindergarten, okay? Behave well. Obey Kostya. Call me as soon as you're there. No, it's better to get in touch via the internet. It's free and I'll see you every day. Hooray! <laughs> we'll see Mommy every <laughs> single day. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. See you. You two take care bye -bye. of each other. If anything's wrong, call me, okay? Okay. <sighs> Bye. Where are you going? 
Well, my husband and daughter are sending me on vacation. <laughs> Happy you are. I saw that you have a wonderful husband straight away. Yes. And my ex sent me my bag. I was asking him for three months. And when's your flight? Let's go have some coffee. But, uh, uh, no thanks, I'm late. All right then. It was nice to see you. And I don't take offense at all with your accusations after all this. Let's not discuss it. Maybe it was Yulia after all. It was Yulia. Well, it doesn't matter. She's already paying for it. Yeah, how so? Don't you know? She's going to lose her job real soon. Well, Andre went bankrupt. His Oleg left him high and dry. He took all the money from his accounts. Oh, Andre's of course shell-shocked, because it seems as though they've been friends since they were in school. He locked himself at home, accepts no one, drinks like a fish. Yulia tried going to see him, but he told her to get out. He didn't want to see her. Oh, I just hope he won't commit suicide. It's strange that he's grieving because of money. Well, what money? What are you talking about? His reputation and the contracts? What about his friends? Huh, what friends? They sympathize from a distance. I feel so sorry for him. And he's all alone out there. Yes, alone. Look, I must go. All in all, have a great vacation. Bye. Mm -hmm. Sort of all for now, right? Yeah, the owner said low to get out. Yep, come on, quick. Everything's gonna get wet. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. Uh -uh. And why have you come? To simply pity me? No, I've come to help you. Ah, to help is good. But it was a bad idea. No one will help me. So that's all. I'm moving out. Well, I'm thinking of moving to a shared apartment. Uh, uh -huh. Be careful, please. Le uh -huh. Just let me help you. You see, I came from the dirt. And now I'm going back. Oh, yeah. Um, I need an ambulance. My friend is sick. Intoxication or exhaustion? And where should I call you? You can send me someone. I'll pay you as much as you want. Please, just send the help. Well, that's all then. He'll be sleeping like a log for half uh -huh. the day. He'll wake up like a new one. Well, or almost like a new one. Can you give him... Uh, can you give him a dropper yourself? Yes, of course. That's great. Give him the infusion and then remove it. Mm -hmm. Well, why have you driven your man to such a state? What did you do to him? Yes, I have nothing to do with it at all. I'm pretty much a stranger. That's the trouble. We are all like strangers to each other. A man is like a child. He needs attention. Okay. I'll give you my phone number just in case. Uh -huh. And you, when he wakes up, cook some chicken broth for him and some thin porridge. Fill it with nutrients and with love. You got it? Yes. Thank you very much. Well, don't see me out. I'll find my way myself. So it wasn't a dream after all, then. How are you feeling right now? Well, probably just the same as I look. 
I need to have a shower. Well, that's really great. I was just afraid that you would want another drink. Ah, uh, no, no, no. What? I've given up on that. All right, then. The shower will wait. Sit down at the table now. I found some chicken hiding in the fridge. When did you last eat a good meal? Well, I don't remember when. Uh, How long have you been here? Where's your husband and your child? They think I'm at a resort. Don't talk for now, just eat. Please. <clears throat> so because of me, you didn't go, did you? Excuse me, please, but I'll continue my rescuer mission now. I know what happened, but you have to pull yourself together, and, and you've already gotten out of poverty one day. Well, yes, you lost money, but you're not a beggar, not at all. I would say, all in all, your main essence are your talent, intuition, and most importantly, the people who work with you, and... Yeah. You're certainly right. I, I swear to you, I will do anything to fix everything. Will you? That's great. I wanted to hear it from you, but now, now I must go. Get better soon. What do you mean, go? Wait, where to? To my house. Why are you going home? Wait, stop. You told your family that you were going to a resort, didn't you? Uh, I will say that the flight was delayed and, uh... Stop, wait a second. Uh, could you stay with me? Just stay with me for the duration of the tour, okay? I swear to you, no one will ever know you were here. No, what are you talking about? It's impossible. Elena, Elena, wait. Elena. Elena, don't leave me, please. I, I can't do it without you. How was your flight? Elena, why haven't you called me? Are you doing okay? The trip was very exhausting. As soon as I reached the hotel, I laid down and quickly fell asleep. How are you? We're fine. Olya is asleep. Call her tomorrow, though. She misses you. She was waiting for your call. Yes, of course. For sure I will. Elena, have you gone for a swim? I'm just going to. Well, listen, be careful. You can get sunburnt on your first day, okay? Mm-hmm. Elena, show me the view from the window. I'd like to see a small piece of Southeast Asia through your eyes. Here, uh, the internet connection is so weak, it only works in this spot. Uh... I'll do it some other time, okay? Well, can I go? Go on, go on, see ya. Kisses. I love you, my dear. Kisses, talk later. <sighs> Wait, have you talked to him? I'm so ashamed. And tomorrow I'll have to lie to my daughter as well. Let me send you to some resort. I'll find some money to pay for a flight and a hotel room. No. You see, I didn't feel so happy for so long now. <laughs> but now you're suffering because of this. Don't blame yourself. I made the choice myself. I'm ashamed, but I... I feel so happy. I feel so good that... I feel... I feel so good that I can't think of anything else. And I don't care what will happen to us next. We got carried away for a while. But you should go get the things done at this time. It doesn't matter at all. I asked them to bring the documents from the firm here. I'll work on it at home. I decided not to sell the house for now, you know. I'll just try and take some risks with some loans. Mm. The investigator called. He says that Oleg is being 
Well, he's being searched for, and they've got some clues now. And God willing, they'll find him, you know? It means you don't have anything to do now, doesn't it? Absolutely. Now we can do what we're best at doing, my darling. brings you over here? <laughs> you aren't very polite, mister. Yulia asked me to bring you the documents you had asked for. And what does Yulia do then? Do you have any idea what's going on in the company? You don't come there, you don't answer calls. Yulia's like a hamster in a spin wheel. That's why she asked me instead. Look, how did you get in here without calling? <laughs> Actually, you have gates open. Hold on, why are you interrogating me? I just wanted to help you out, that's all. All right. I'm sorry. Thank you uh, very much, then. Uh, so you're not going to invite me to the house? I'm sorry. It's not a good time for guests. Thanks again. Among the worlds of brightly shining stars, there's only one whose name I'm ever calling. And not because I've any love for her, simply because with others I'm in dark. And when I feel my heart is weighted down, to her alone I can turn for an answer. And not because she gives me her light, simply because I need... Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is Kostya. It's strange that he's calling me late. Something must have happened. Go, go. Mm -hmm. Answer. Elena, I didn't want to bother you, but Olya has a high temperature. Maybe she caught a cold in the garden. Did you call the doctor? I did. He prescribed some pills, but they don't help. Most importantly, she cries and calls for you all the time. Well, show me to her. What's the matter with her? Well, she's asleep now. I just put her to bed. Hopefully she'll sleep until morning, but if not, I'll call an ambulance or go to the hospital. Why didn't you call me before? Well, I didn't want to spoil your vacation. I hoped that I would manage by myself. But don't worry. Maybe everything will be fine tomorrow. So then, if the temperature doesn't decrease, call an ambulance and I... I'm... I'm going home. <sighs> Did you call me a taxi? Yeah. Elena, well, maybe you shouldn't be in a hurry. Maybe you'll stay till morning. The girl's asleep anyway, and you need time for the flight. To hell with these damn lies. Well, if to hell with these lies, then I'll go with you. What for? Elena, I understand this isn't the right time. 
I wanted to tell you the whole time that we've been staying I'm here begging with you, you Andre, Elena, please, let's just not I, I do this you, right now. It's not the me, right please. time. Later, I won't be able to say this. Elena, I'm very afraid of losing you. I, I want to tell you to take Olya and move in with me. Do you mean you want me to move in with you? Well, yes. What would I be? In what, in what role? As a wife. We'll get married, and I'll be a good husband to you and a good father to Olya. I'll do anything to make you feel good here, honey. Hold on, please. You must have just had too much to drink. Elena. If you agree, we'll go to the Civil Registry Office. While Olya is ill, Kostya shouldn't know anything. You're, you're right. I'll go home in the morning. I hope you won't forget what we talked about last night. It's impossible to forget. I don't get a proposal every day. You're being ironic, but I'm serious. I really hope to see you and Olya here real soon. Well, for now, I'll choose a room for a nursery. Just don't push me too far, okay? Okay. I... Uh, I'll call you. See you. Olya isn't here. Hold on. Where is she? Where she should be at school. You take a sick child to kindergarten? Olya is absolutely healthy. What's going on then? You came home too quickly, you dumb girl. That's one thing. You didn't get tanned at all. That's the second. And tell me, what exactly should I call you now? Where did you get this from? in the mailbox. Or is it now just not what I thought again? Kostya, forgive me, please. I am guilty. I can't help myself. I love him. I wanted to tell you about it later, but it's probably better. Actually, it's better that it happened like this. I just didn't know how to bring this up to you at all. How is it better? It's better because we're already having it and we don't need to get ready for this conversation. Kostya, I'm leaving you now. Right now? Yes, right now. You know, Kostya and I decided to part. I have one friend. His name is Andre. We will move in with him and live in his big, big house. I'm sure you'll be friends with him, too. Maybe we'll take Kostya with us? He's good. It's so cool to play with him, you know? Unfortunately, we can't take him with us. But, you know, I'm sure that he'll come to visit us. Not right away. Maybe after some time. But you'll still see him, I promise. Will this Andre play with me and my dolls? Why don't you ask him yourself, okay, my darling? Okay, Mom. Hello, Olya. I've heard a lot about you. Let's get acquainted. Mm-hmm.
You're making a major mistake, you know. Because Elena isn't the person you need in your life. Have you heard the saying, having such friends you don't need enemies? This is about you. Yes, Elena is my friend, and I love her, of course, in my own way. But you are my friend, too, and that's the whole point. Okay, everything is clear. Thank you, and goodbye. Well, you don't know her at all. She has a very shady past. You think she's not capable of cheating on you? She's that type of person. She doesn't know any other way. Unlike you, correct? Alina, you're making me really angry right now. Do you really think that I don't know that it was you who took those photos? I let you in only because of natural curiosity. Wanted to look into your eyes. So now leave. I won't punish you any longer. If I see you near us once again, you'll regret it. You'll soon see that I'm right. I hope you'll have the courage to apologize then. Good luck. Elena. I beg you, come back. Well, at least... At least think about Olya for a second. He's a stranger to her. Kostya, you're manipulating my feelings for my daughter again. But it's true, my love. I love you. I do everything for you. I'll make a lot of money. I've already earned some. I completed a large order. Do you want me to spend it all on you? We'll rent a new large premises for your salon, like, like you always dreamed. I've left you. Do you understand? Forever. And you should accept this and move on. I saved you once. When everyone turned away, I, I took you with a child. I helped you set up your business. Yeah, we lived modestly, but I tried so hard. I'm still trying. I'm very grateful to you for all of this. But you enjoyed these few years too, didn't you? Yeah, I was so happy. So why don't we just remember the good things then? How is it possible when you left me for this handsome, damn rich man? What's this about money? I... I really love him. He's playing with you. He'll leave you. And I will still love you. Do you hear me, Elena? What do you want now? Well, I just wanted to know how you're doing. How I'm doing? It's very interesting to hear this question from you. It was you who introduced them. It was you who sent photos to me. If not for them, Elena would have returned. I would not have known anything. Well, I'm sorry. I had no idea that would happen. I myself had eyes for Andre. Well, all in all, we're companions in misfortune. So what do you want now? I actually have a bottle of wine. Maybe we can sit down and talk? What for, huh? Do you want revenge on her now? Just go to hell. Oh, look at this. How many drawings have you done so far, darling? Come on, show them to me, will you? Come on. Well, is it beautiful? Super. Whose wedding is this? Yours and my mommy's, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's mommy. It's me. I recognize myself immediately. Well, you're just a princess, aren't you? And who is this man on the side? That there is Kostya. We're going to invite him, aren't we? I think that that's not a good idea, sweetie. Hmm? Well, I miss him, and I miss my dolls. And Andre hasn't seen them yet. 
Come on, let's do it like this. I'll go to Kostya, I'll give him a huge, huge hello from you, and take your toys. And about the wedding, do you remember that we discussed that now Kostya has his own life and we have ours? Do you agree? I agree. Just don't forget the princess's I castle. I definitely am not going to forget that. <laughs> well, I'll go with you as well. I'll be fine, dear. <clears throat> Here are the toys you asked me for. Uh-huh. The suitcase with your things is there, too. Thank you. Want some tea? Anything? Kostya, sit down. Kostya. Well, we can't part like this. Forgive me. I beg of you. Hold no grudge towards me. Just let it go. Happiness, too. <sighs> Olya sent you hello as well. Say hello to her, too. <clears throat> yeah, look, I, uh, <gasps> Alina's recently visited me here. Offered to unite against you. I think she's up to something, so be careful with her. Elena, in my opinion, it's ideal. Look, your fiance will go crazy for sure. Yes, and the first one, the color champagne, wasn't it better though? What champagne? It doesn't give such an effect of lightness, airiness. Uh -huh. Wait, this isn't the whole ensemble yet, so wait, wait. Here, oh, now the image of the bride is complete. I can't even believe it. Ah. patient now it can be painful but I need to remove the bandage to treat the wound quiet quiet that's it everything's okay okay well then the face is slowly healing now we'll anoint it wait a second give me the mirror please you shouldn't look at yourself yet darling wait a week at least please give me the mirror I want to see my face right now don't worry, I'm not going to commit suicide. I have a daughter to keep raising. You know, the acid turned out to be a weak concentration and plastic surgery does miracles nowadays. In this hospital? Well, we'll do everything we can. You should talk to your doctor and he'll tell you what will be best. I see. Oh, Lord. 
These drug addicts will do anything for, quiet, quiet, for a woman's nice bag. By the way, an investigator's come to see you. He wants to ask you a few questions. I don't want to talk to anyone at all. But this is just wrong. It's necessary to catch the bastard who did this. What for? This wasn't a robbery. I know that it is her. Don't despair, we'll find a good specialist, sweetie. We have money, thank God. Everything will be fine. Don't lie to me or yourself. It'll never be as good again. Elena, I understand how you feel, but believe me, it'll all go away. It won't go away. And I'll remain disfigured for my entire life. I can imagine how happy this witch is now. Are you talking about Elena? Well, I didn't want to tell you not to worry. But since you raised this topic yourself, then all in all, she isn't happy. They caught her at the airport. I think she's already confessed to it. Well, at least that's something. How is Olya? Olya's just fine. Well, of course, she misses you. Mm. She allowed me to bring her here, though. Don't, Andre. It's, it's... It would be a serious psychological trauma for the girl. She shouldn't see her mom like this. You know what? You shouldn't probably come here either. What do you mean? I can see how you suffer when you look at me like this. Elena. Elena, what are you saying? Wait a sec. Why are you doing this? Everything will be fine. You'll recover, we'll get married, it'll don't be fine. Don't you understand, though? I don't want you to just live with me out of mercy. Please, just leave me. Go away forever. Elena. I love you, dear. Can't you see? I'm, I'm going to cry now, but I can't even cry. Go on, please. Doctor, I need to see Elena Sokolova's medical chart with the results of all the tests right away. I can't show it to you. You aren't even her husband, sir. I'm her fiancé. We already applied. Doctor, I need to know how serious everything is. Well, I'm not going to hide it from you. It's pretty serious, sir. Doctor, will you please put yourself in my place? <sighs> well, okay then. As a man, I understand you. Come this way. disappearance of the lawyer. Bostia, hello! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I missed you. <laughs> oh, you're so prickly. Uh -huh. Do you know that mom fell ill? Oh, I know. But she'll be fine soon. Now, go on ahead and change your clothes. I'll mm -hmm. be right there. I gotta talk to this guy. Kostya, I understand how you probably feel about me, but I have a problem. I called Elena at the hospital and she's not answering and I need to leave urgently. Olya has no one to stay with. So I wanted to know if you could look after her for a while. I don't know how long it'll take, but I'll pick her up as soon as I can. <laughs> That's not important. I certainly can. <sighs> Thank you very much. Did you leave Elena? I knew you wouldn't need her like this. The bastard that you are, after all. Good afternoon. How are you feeling, honey? I'm okay, ma'am. There's a man who's come to see you. He says he's your husband. <sighs> let him, let him in. Come in, mister. Thank you.
I wanted to come earlier, but they didn't let me in. Do you want me to go? Sit down, since you're here. Elena, I understand you weren't waiting for me, but, but he, he isn't going to come. Do you know something? He brought Olya back to me. And you... Don't go on, I know. I myself drove him away. Devil knows what's going on in my head right now. <laughs> All so fast. But I can understand him, though. I think he was ashamed. He looked like he... Uh... Why did you come? To rejoice at my misfortune? No, of course not, Elena. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that I, I love you so much. I want to take you home. Kostya. After everything that happened, you, you, well, you really think? Well, it did. It did. Let's just go home. You didn't even see my face yet. You think that matters to me? Here, look here. All you sent it to you. <gasps> We can start everything from the beginning. We'll forget everything. You want to? Kostya. Hmm? You're really such a... Well... <laughs> I didn't deserve you and still don't. <laughs> Don't cry, or I'll cry with you, too. Ah, you're still here. Good thing. Yes, they were supposed to come and take me, but apparently something didn't work out. I think I know exactly what happened. What? The investigator wasn't able to reach you on the phone and called me. They arrested the man who splashed acid at you. He named the employer. We have all his information. But the employer has long been known. She was arrested, right? <sighs> this isn't Alina? I think you'd better go to the police for yourself, ma'am. Wait here a second. I'll get somebody to give you a ride there. Uh... You can talk. If anything is wrong, I'm right outside the door, ma'am. Kostya, is this all true? It was you? You hired a scumbag to mutilate me and do this? How could you do this to me? I wanted you back in my life. I actually almost did it. You're a horrible monster. I'm a horrible monster? I wanted to live with you, to be with you, to take care of you every day, and you just left. It was my world, and you destroyed that. You wanted to get me back? At such a price? I had no other choice. I freaked out. I don't know what to say right now. Don't say anything at all. Go home, then. Olya's staying with the neighbor. She was very frightened when the police came by. Wait, Elena. I'll probably be in prison for a long time. Live in my apartment. You still have nowhere to go. There's some money in the nightstand. A little. It'll be enough for the first year. I was living with a damn monster. Not true, Elena the Beautiful. I am normal. It's just called true love.
was so scared. Kosha and I were gonna meet you at the hospital and then some people came into the house. My girl, now everything will be fine from now on. I'll never leave you alone again, okay? Do you promise? My word, honey. We do not need anyone anymore. Do you want us to leave the city tomorrow morning, first thing? Where to? Not sure. Visit Grandma? You want to visit your Grandma? We haven't seen her for a long time. She probably won't even recognize you. Not a problem. I'll tell her, Grandma, hello, it's me. And she'll immediately <laughs> remember me. You are my smart girl. And will Andre find us there? Andre has left. Far, far away. Sit down and fasten the seatbelt. Thank God. I, I went to the hospital. They said you were discharged. I went home. You weren't there. I called you. You weren't answering. I threw out my SIM card. Elena, but why? I thought that you just left me forever. Huh. Elena, look, I really had to leave for a while, but they caught Oleg. We had a face-to-face -face interrogation. <laughs> why are we standing here talking? Let's go home. I'll tell you everything. Do you really want us to go to your place right now? Why to mine? To ours. Elena, I found a clinic. I arranged everything. I sent them a copy of your medical card. They agreed to accept you. Mom, I told you that Andre would come back for us again. <sighs> Why are you acting like children? It's more comfortable to cuddle at home. <laughs> Shall we? Well, say daddy. Come on, daddy. Say daddy, daddy. Da. <laughs> no? What? Daddy. Papa. What's that? What did you just call me? Daddy. 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 <laughs> Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> Your dad's been waiting for a while. I'm sorry. It took a little longer than we expected. We really wanted to have a snack and discuss the surprise. <laughs> well, what surprise? Come on. Mom well. says we'll need another nursery again really soon, Daddy. What? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> daddy! So I'm a daddy. Daddy! 